the Mikhail Gurevich MiG-25 was developed to be able to intercept U.S. strategic bombers, like the B-47 Stratojet and the B-52 Stratofortress. The NATO name for the aircraft type was Foxbat. Development was started in mid-1959, before Soviet intelligence had learned about the American A-12 project. The A-12 was a Mach 3 reconnaissance aircraft, that would later be developed into the SR-71. Several engine layouts were considered, but side-by-side -side placement was chosen. The other alternatives would be too complicated to maintain. A swept-wing design was considered, but was rejected since it would limit the fuel tank capacity. The idea of a second crew member was also rejected. Another thing considered was vertical takeoff and landing ability, but it was abandoned since it would have added too much weight to the aircraft. The first prototype made its first flight March 6, 1964. The full-scale production of the R version of the MiG-25 began in 1969. The MiG-25P followed in 1971. 460 MiG-25Ps were built until 1982, and were followed by the improved MiG-25PD version, of which 104 were built. Because the MiG-25 was intended to operate in speeds higher than Mach 2, heat-resistant plexiglass was used for the canopy. For the wings and fuselage mainly high-strength stainless steel was used. Titanium would have been more suitable, but it was expensive, and difficult to work with. The radar and missile systems of the MiG-25 were designed mainly for interceptions controlled from the ground. The radar lacked look-down shoot-down capability. This was a serious shortcoming. To solve this, the Sapphire 25 radar was developed, and was fitted to the MiG-25 PD. Maximum speed of the Foxbat was Mach 3+, plus, but the MiG-25 had problems with overheating. Because of the risk of damaging the aircraft, a speed limit was set at Mach 2.83. Pilots were not allowed to fly at Mach 2.83 or over more than 5 minutes at the time, or they would risk overheating. NATO initially thought the MiG-25 was an agile air-to-air -air fighter. They were convinced otherwise when a Soviet pilot defected, by landing his MiG-25 in Japan in 1976. In fact, the steel of the MiG-25 made it very heavy, and it also had a low G-load rating. The MiG-25 officially entered Soviet service in 1970, and it was produced until 1984. A total of 1,186 aircraft were produced, and it served in several other countries, including former Soviet republics. As of 2016 the MiG-25 was still in service in Algeria, Azerbaijan, Syria, and Libya. The MiG-25 is the second fastest serially produced aircraft ever, after the Lockheed SR-71. It remains the fastest manned serially produced aircraft still operated in the world. <laughs>